Compared to much of the world, Americans enjoy a relatively high standard of living. To maintain that standard, though, every person here requires almost 50,000 pounds of new minerals, metals, and petrochemicals every year. Why so much? Because every tangible thing that we buy, use, or sell must first be made out of other materials. And if those materials can't be grown, they must be mined. To meet this demand, the mining industry is evolving rapidly. With an influx of new processes and techniques, plus advanced new technologies, mining is experiencing a step change that is creating new opportunities for miners and for the regions in which they mine. But these changes are also revealing new challenges, like a growing demand for highly qualified workers. And one of the challenges in mining is trying to attract talent into that business. We've really changed the job, so a lot more technology is being required. More innovation, autonomous equipment, robotics, artificial intelligence, and we need the new generation coming forward to understand that, to be educated, to develop in that so they can expand our business in the right direction. That type of technology education, that's what's going to drive them into mining right now. And so we need that throughout our industry to keep it moving. There is a lack of talent, We're just not replacing the talent that's, that's leaving because of retirements. That doesn't even account for any growth that's occurring. And we are just not graduating enough students right now. So if we can attract more students into those sorts of industries, it's ultimately going to help. So what could happen if we do that right here in South Dakota? Mining leads all industries in the autonomous space, with more autonomous miles traveled than all autonomous automotive companies combined. And emerging mining technologies are on pace to transcend other industries, including agriculture, construction, automotive, and other autonomous vehicle applications. So what impacts could be made by turning this area into the leading incubator for those emerging mining technologies, including autonomy? and making our region a primary source for highly qualified people for resource industries. What if we could substantially increase the number of top-level students we attract to move here, learn here, and then ultimately remain here to live and work? What if we could increase the amount and quality of technology research that occurs here, so much so that the Black Hills becomes known as the Silicon Valley of resource industries? And what if that research then enables the development of valuable new discoveries into new mining products, services, and technologies, the creation of new companies here, and attracting new employers into our area as well? The recruitment of additional highly skilled workers and their families to our region, and the creation of many new high-tech and higher-paying jobs. Believe it, all of that is possible and already underway through the creation of the Mining Hub, a collaborative and mutually beneficial partnership of mining-related educators, corporations, organizations, and resources that are prevalent in the Black Hills region. First, there's the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, recently rebranded as South Dakota Mines. South Dakota Mines offers bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in a wide array of disciplines, all focused on engineering, science, and technology. This multidiscipline approach is critical for emerging technologies. For every mining engineer on an autonomous mine site, eight additional engineering disciplines are required. So South Dakota Mines' diversity of engineering programs sets them apart in this space. In addition, the university has been ranked number one among engineering schools for return on investment and has over 18,000 alumni who are working and leading in the field. There's quite a few of them, myself included, um, my boss. I went to the School of Mines. I went to the School of Mines and graduated from there. I'm actually a graduate. I'm an alumni. I graduated from School of Mines. I graduated. I'm a South Dakota School of Mines graduate. South Dakota Mines graduates are working all over the world, making a difference with their knowledge, leadership, and skills. Other partners in the mining hub include Core Wharf Mine, an open pit gold mine that annually produces 4.6 million tons of ore and employs 220 full-time mining employees. Pete Lean & Sons, 
a multi-state aggregates producer with large local operations producing rock, stone, concrete, and lime. The Sanford Underground Research Facility, a remarkable and world-leading scientific research facility that will be used for underground mining technology and autonomy development. It is located at the former site of Homestake Gold Mine, nearly one mile beneath the surface of Leeds, South Dakota. Caterpillar and their Black Hills Engineering Design Center. The center was founded a decade ago as a 10-person technology incubator at South Dakota Mines. Now the facility employs over 90 highly skilled workers and continues to grow in Rapid City, where they are creating machine modeling, 3D animations, and virtual reality experiences for Caterpillar's mining and other businesses worldwide. Respec, a mining and engineering solutions consulting company that is headquartered in Rapid City, but has operations throughout North America. Butler Machinery, the Caterpillar dealer for North and South Dakota, which supplies and supports all Caterpillar customers, equipment, and technologies in the region. And Western Dakota Tech, as the only technical college serving Western South Dakota, the school develops needed skilled workers for the area's mining technology and mining support businesses. The mining hub is structured to benefit every partner, including the state of South Dakota. Having this technology incubator, who knows what else might evolve over the next several years, will create lots of opportunities for spin-off companies and economic development inside of the city and the state of South Dakota. What's exciting, it's not just those three departments of mining engineering and metallurgical engineering and GLE, but it's gonna to tie together other departments such as mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science and engineering, our programs in material science. Our whole campus will be involved with these projects as we move this technology forward. South Dakota Mines is continuing to grow an academic department to support the Mining Hub initiative with faculty to help facilitate additional co-ops, internships, and master's and doctoral theses. They will continue to create new pools of talent with in-demand skill sets, and they will be able to further optimize costs for their students, which will in turn attract previously inaccessible students to this innovative, experience-driven, and continuous learning environment. Through similar industry investment, Western Dakota Tech will be further enabled to educate and train a growing technical workforce in the region, providing them with the necessary skills to change, adapt, and evolve to support these transforming industries. For other partners, the benefits are many. Pete Lean and Sons has a good relationship with the university. There's a number of people that are working here now that started at Pete Lean and Sons as interns. The last couple years we've worked to get some senior design projects along with the mining department. And those have been really beneficial for the company and, and I think the students learned a lot from them as well. Going forward, we want to automate all the way as far as we can with Caterpillar equipment here at Core War, looking at teleoperated dozers in the future. We will also be looking at autonomous trucks. We see great benefits for our people learning new skill sets but also lowering our costs and being able to probably stay up open longer because of that. The hub is part of that. We've been working with the hub to build a, the industry, build the technology. The hub is gonna bring and keep kids here in this area to live here, to grow, develop their careers, have families, and that's what we want. Well, I think the partnership really brings a lot of different things to the table. Number one, it brings new high-tech, high-paying jobs here to the area. So we're expecting a, a strong cadre of, of really talented Caterpillar people who are gonna be working here on site. They're gonna be bringing in other partners that they're working with to do R&D, to develop new products, and to be able to, to advance the products they have now. We're really excited to be a part of that and to be able to see technologies that are emerging in the industry even before they hit the market. And for us to be able to evaluate how might they fit in with the work that we're doing in performing science nearly a mile underground and do this leading edge work more safely. This additional commitment is really exciting to kick off this mining hub and development of the area. The School of Mines is a major pipeline for talent for RESPEC. 
you know, have a talent population and also encourage businesses to move in the area that we can work with. Caterpillar has, has a facility here in Rapid City, South Dakota. That actually uh, provided some of the basis to have the, the cat lab development here. And there were several reasons for that. We're getting closer to our customer and we're attracting talent that knows how to do the job we need to. That's really what we were doing here. We're working with South Dakota School of Mines and Western Dakota Tech to help us with training people with the skills needed to be successful in mining as it changes. You're going to see intellectual property developed or ideas for patents that can come back to the company. It could be a new product line for the company or it could be something that they want to spin out into a startup company which is gonna create jobs, it's gonna create more companies. And here's a chance to work with some of the brightest faculty we have, work with students to try to solve those problems in a real world setting. So it really is gonna be beneficial for industry. This is an opportunity to expand the population here and to bring more jobs to this area that are above a certain minimum uh, annual salary. And those are the kind of jobs that we provide here. But uh, when, we, when we hire someone here, all of the money we pay them stays in the community, and that increases the overall tax base, both from a property tax perspective uh, as well as a, as a sales tax perspective. Additionally, the area itself lends it to the development of mining technology, and it can be developed into a real technology hub for mining technology, for visualization, for other things that would help support uh, bringing new opportunities uh, to this part of, of South Dakota. This all combines to provide a strong platform for sustained economic growth for the Black Hills and beyond. South Dakota will become known for its world-leading digital capabilities, attracting larger digitally focused companies, academia and talent, and a broader influx of workers and their families. South Dakota residents will have access to higher paying installation and support jobs and the training they need to grow in those fields. All of this is already underway and the results are becoming evident. However, the process can be accelerated and the outcomes can be increased. By participating, collaborating, and investing, the state of South Dakota can help the mining hub make an even greater positive impact for its residents, businesses, schools, and economy. And South Dakota will become known as a world-leading source of digital innovation. Starting here.